Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome once again to Five Minutes with Phil. And I'm glad that we can get together and look at God's Word. And ultimately, we're, we're actually learning from uh, what Jesus has to say to each and every one of us here today. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, today, I want to take us to the book of Job. Job. Oh, this is fun because a lot of people love to avoid the book of Job. If you don't know why, let me tell you, okay? The book of Job is over 40 chapters of the story of a man who basically lost everything. The devil literally got permission from God to try to hit him with all that he could hit him with. And, uh, and, and the enemy's hope was to wreck Job's faith, to get Job to walk away from God and stop serving him. And, uh, and so we get all these chapters of how uh, even his wife told him to, to curse God and die. Uh, his so-called friends were no help to him. I mean, it, it's, it's a challenging book on how to respond to adversity. And there's a quote from Job that I want to use kind of not just in this context, but, but in even a broader look here. Look at the screen. Let me show you what I mean here. Uh, Job chapter 42, verses 1 and 2. And here's what Job says. He says, Then Job replied to the Lord, I know that you can do all things, and no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Mm. What, what a powerful statement that Job made to God. This confidence that Job had in God in the midst of all of his suffering, in the midst of all of his trials, and in the midst of losing everything in his life. He said that God can do all things. And every purpose that God has, it's not going to be thwarted. It's not going to be stopped. It's not going to be sabotaged. It's not going to be shipwrecked. Do, I don't know about you, but I, I've met a lot of people who think that because of their actions in the past, that uh, God's plan for them is totally gone, that, that they can't do anything for the Lord or, or, or the Lord can't do anything with them or through them or for them. And to that I say, you know what? You need to kind of get over yourself because God's plan and God's purpose for me, it's way bigger than my mistakes. It's way bigger than your past. It's way bigger than what you've gone through. Your identity is not wrapped up in, in what you've been through, what you're going through now, the problems that you've faced. I mean, sure, God will use your story, but your identity and my identity is in the purposes of God. And there's nothing that can be done that can sabotage God's plan for me. You might be thinking today that you're damaged goods. Maybe because you've failed in some way. Maybe because you've messed up in some way. Maybe you've been misused or hurt by another individual. And you think that that has now put you in some category of being obsolete when it comes to God's purposes. And, and I'm just going to tell you now, all of that is a lie. Don't buy into that. There is nothing that could take place that can shipwreck God's plan for you. And I want you to walk in that confidence today. There's nothing that can be done. There's nothing you can do that can cause God to throw his hands up in the air and say, well, I got nothing. Trust me. God, like Job said, God can do all things. And none of his purposes can be thwarted or sabotaged or stopped by us or anybody. He is God. All right? Man, my time's up, so I got to let you go. Thanks for joining me today. 
Uh, we love you. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.